What is up, guys? Jake from One Hive here with a quick video just recapping the Chicago Live event and the trip that the wife and I took. Uh, unfortunately, the replays, uh, before I got settled, before I got it done, the replays got wiped to an unexpected maintenance break, so I have nothing to show you. But honestly, it's not a huge loss. The, the wars, we missed the, uh, if you guys hadn't heard by now, we missed the arranged war that was supposed to be going on by all the attendees, uh, and we ended up both... Um, matching some uh, random Asian clans uh, and that they had a lot of farming bases. It was just not, the war itself was sort of a bust, uh, but really that is not what these events are about. I mean, they're sort of a side uh, feature to what is really, really cool about these events. And uh, the one in Chicago, obviously way above and beyond anything that we had, that the, the quote Clash Live uh, people have tried or, or put on before. It was really amazing. Uh, I just want to give sort of a play-by-play -play recap of, of my weekend, what I thought about it, uh, just so that you guys know. I didn't want to, want to you guys that didn't get to uh, go, didn't want to leave you out of the experience uh, any more than I have to. So uh, on Friday, we flew in, uh, landed, you know, mid-afternoon, got into the hotel, uh, relaxed a little bit, and then got ready for dinner. Went had an amazing dinner at a restaurant called Babette's. Oh my goodness, it was so good, like ridiculously good food. Uh, from there, we went to the hotel where most of the attendees were staying uh, towards the airport uh, and just went to the hotel bar, had sort of a, a pre-meetup pre, part, a pre -meet -up party, whatever you want to call it, uh, the day before the event. Uh, some people got had a little bit too much alcohol that night, uh, was struggling the next day. I fortunately uh, took it pretty easy, uh, pretty, pretty fun night, but got to meet a ton of people, obviously, that were there. Uh, you know, just hanging out, waiting for the event tomorrow, and, uh, you know, got in bed probably around 1 o'clock, so I was actually feeling pretty good, slept in a little bit late till like, I don't know, 9.30 or 10 the next morning, uh, got up, got ready, and headed to the Ignite Gaming Lounge, which was pretty amazing, huge building, uh, like, I don't even know, like, probably a couple of hundred, I don't know, a hundred uh, Xbox machines, you know, computers, any games you want to play, internet, uh, we had tons of food donated like all day long. There were food, it was bringing food in, pizzas, sandwiches, Chinese food. I don't know, it was just, it was insane. It was like you were just being catered to all day long. Um, you know, drinks started coming in at, at like 2 o'clock that afternoon. So people started having a few drinks, having some fun. Um, and just so many people. I don't know how, what the total count was there, but I know there was a ton of people there. And it was awesome. It really was. I met so many people, so many nice people. Uh, people that, you know, that I haven't met before, you know, people like Power Bang and Ash, and then just tons of just individuals, fans, just people that love Clash, and that's the part that's really fun to me, is meeting those people that just the viewers that say, hey, I've watched your channel for, for this long, and I love it, and it's done so much for me and my clan, and it's just, it's just awesome, it's just, it's just amazing, and they're so appreciative, and it just, I don't know. It reminds me of why I do this stuff. So everybody that I met, I don't, I'm not even going to start naming names because I know I'll forget a million people, but everybody that I met was an absolute pleasure. Uh, even people that uh, that have had some beef with in the past, I guess, KNX. Uh, you guys might remember that, that little uh, drama. But uh, nice guy, you know. I was going to the bathroom and, and uh, he stopped me in the hall and, there, and then we had a little talk. So, uh, you know, it, it, stuff like that. It's just cool to put, you know, get, when you get face to face with people, a lot of times your, your problems go away and, and your friendships build. You know, you remember people and you, it's just different. I don't know. If you have, if you haven't had a chance to go to one of these and you feel like you might have a chance in the future, you know, there's one that you're sort of scoping out, just go. I'm telling, I'm telling you guys, you're going to love it. It is really an experience. And I hope that Supercell, uh, you know, the fact that we, that, that Anna was there, Anushka, uh, and was super involved and super awesome. I mean, she's just a, a great girl. A uh, great asset to, to Supercell. I hope she brings back the word that this needs to be high on their list of things to promote. These meetups, these live events, is really something special. Um, and you know, normally there's always a charity involved, something like that. People trying to give back, trying to you know help other people out. And this one was amazing. Uh, Laurie's, Laurie's Children's Hospital in Chicago raised, I think it was like between eleven and twelve thousand dollars for this for this children's hospital. Guys, that's that's real, man. That's that's important. And, uh, you know, we all have the, you know, there we are drinking, having a good time and enjoying it. But you, you forget that that's a lot of money for kids that that really in their families that, man, they they don't have it as, as they're not as lucky. You know, I've got two kids and thank God they're both healthy. You know, um, these families that go through this stuff when, 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 a, ch when a child 
is is not healthy it's it's just the worst thing in the world you know i know people have family members and parents and, and brothers and sisters and all that stuff that 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 get ill throughout their lives but when when a child an innocent child is uh is is not healthy it's just i don't know i can't i can't think of anything that's that's worse it's just it's just heartbreaking and so to be able to put that kind of money towards a cause like that to me makes it even that much more special i mean that's absurd money that's for, for a couple hundred classrooms to get together and have a good time and, and do something that, that positive. Uh, I was just proud to be a part of it. I really was. I think uh, all the people that put effort into, into doing it, into, uh, into making it happen, uh, again, I'm not going to go through names because I'll forget a million, but there was a bunch of them. You guys know who they are. Um, just awesome. I mean, these guys were like, it was, it was a job. I mean, you could tell like every once in a while they wanted to just sit down because they're working all day long. Uh, then when the event finally wound down, uh, we announced the you know the total amount, which was a pretty amazing moment, I think. Um, then we went to a, a place called HQ Beer Cave, which was like a like a bar with an arcade in it, and the arcade was free. Like all these old retro games, uh, you know, just you know, arcade games, stand up arcade games, uh, were free to play, and it was just fun because everybody was still you know just drinking, having a good time, laughing. We got some food there. Uh, it was just great. It was really cool. Uh, Ash did beat me pretty badly. I had an old, uh, I can't remember what the fighting game was, Soul Reaper or something. I don't know. I think he was cheating. He had an Asian girl. She was too fast. I couldn't do anything with her. Uh, but it was fun. It was it was a great time. So overall, I mean, the experience was amazing. Uh, you know, everything that, that you would want it to be, again, the people, the food, the the experience, the, the charity, the, the all of it. All of it was just, was just perfect. Uh, so it was uh, really, really fun. So glad I got to meet each of you guys that uh, that came to it. And hopefully soon uh, we'll be able to go to another one. The wife and I, she had a lot of fun. Uh, so we'll definitely try to do another one in the future. But guys, again, just wanted to give a small recap, talk about it. I know you guys have probably heard a lot about it now, but really people are not over-exaggerating this. It is that fun. It is that amazing. Uh, it's that much of an experience that you will want to have if you love Clash and you love uh, just meeting new people. So if, if once in your area, definitely uh, check it out and I will try to let you guys know as soon as possible when we plan on going to the, another one. So hope you liked the video. Until next time, Jake from One Hop doing my best to help you guys suck less.